Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am your host Prashant and today we are going to learn one more feature in SwiftUI. So in today's video you are going to see how you can create a tab view like this with some custom buttons or you can say custom images on those tab buttons. So here you can see I have given different options like here if I scroll like this you can see first I have used one heart image then camera then rupee and then person image so currently it's work like this so we are going to create this in today's video which is very easy so let's get started without wasting any time so like always i will create one xcode project new project I will full, full screen this click app and let's name this project as let's say custom tab items and make sure these settings are same and click next and let's save it on our desktop okay so the first thing what we are going to create is one variable which will hold our current item or current index of the tab view so i will say at the rate state private where and i will call it as current index and let's assign it to zero and then let's click resume okay so here what i'm going to give is first i'm going to create a v stack and inside this v stack i want to give a tab view so i will say tab view this one and for this i will give the selection option so selection will be my dollar current index which i have created here so currently it will select by default zero which we have given this value and then we can start our tab view so for tab view what you can do is you can create this type of shift ui view four different views and you can pass here but just to save our time i will just pass the different colors which will also work as a different screen so i will say color dot red and like this i will use four colors so then I'm going to give one tag tag I'm going to give because it should it will then uh, recognize one index at a time so for that tag and then I'm going to create a tab item and inside this I'm going to use the image so I will say image and inside this I'm going to use the system image so I will say system name and here let's say let me just check what have okay we have passed the heart so i will say heart dot circle and now you can see here it is reflecting like this i'm just going to copy paste this four times two three and four and then let me just change the indexes to one two and three and then also change the images so second will be camera then third is I think Indian rupee sign yes it's working and the last one is person okay so now you can see here it, it is working like this now if I run you will see that there is one difference that it will not work properly so it is launched here on the iPod touch let's wait for it to launch ok so until this is loading what you can do is I can tell you about my channel so on this channel you can see I have tried to upload videos related to SwiftUI development and I will also upload videos related to Swift development and iOS also and if here you can see i have uploaded one video related to github so in between i will try to upload videos which will eventually help you in uh, progressing in your professional career and it will also help you up skills in the different uh, fields like on the using of source control or using different like data structure algorithms like this i will try to upload videos related to them in the future so if you want to learn something like that you can subscribe to this channel 
okay so i think it is taking too much time what we will do is i will just stop this and i will run it on the iphone se which is already running so let's run on that and you can see it is launched quickly here so now it is loading the new project okay now here you can see it has launched and if i click on this it is not changing that page so for that what we have to do is we have to give here the tab view style and everything so i will say tab view style and inside this i will say page tab view style and inside this i have this option index display mode which i will say dot always let me just click resume here so that we can see what is happening now one more thing what we can do is here i will say index view style and for that i will say page index view style only which is created by default and inside this i will say background display mode again for this also i will say dot always and the last thing i want to give is just the font so that it will be little bigger because images will be of little bit big size and now let's run it and see how it is working so we have run on this simulator here it is launching okay now you can see it has completely worked and if i click on different items it will change that but now again you can see here it is not changing the index so the problem here is when i just scroll it it will just change the indexes but it is not changing the background color because we have not passed the different color here so let's pass the different color green then here let's say blue and the last one is orange let's run it again okay now it should work and now it has launched and now you can see if i scroll the selected index is also changing and the page is also changing at the top with the animation so this is all guys for today's video as you can see it is so easy to create this tab view items with different images at the bottom so if you have learned something new make sure you hit the like button that will encourage me to create more videos like this and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe it because here i try to paste videos with whatever i try to learn in the last week i try to share that with the community so if you want to learn and upgrade your skills now and then then you can subscribe to this channel so apart from this you can also come to this my instagram page where i post daily video updates and yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i hope see you in the next video bye